Hey guys, how's it going? This is my second video today and I'm going on a roll. Why I quit my 9 to 5 job, but I decided to go in my direction after quitting my 9 to 5 job. Um, and here we go. So a little background of my 9 to 5 job. Experience in that, I've worked in the healthcare agency for years now. I've decided to get from going full-time 9 to 5 and going to college doing part-time instead of full-time for a 9 to 5 and this is because I, I realized that working in a 9 to 5 and going to school and having all these other responsibilities and balancing my social life, happiness and my health it was taking a toll on me. I would have to sleep at 11, 12 or 1 a.m. Go to work for eight hours and then come back home and I'm totally mentally exhausted. Not study as much as I should have if I worked less after working 40 hours. And I saw myself depleting, being unhappy, starting to have resentment for the job, wanting more money because I felt like I was putting in a lot of effort. I am proud of myself that I am such a hard worker in all the jobs I go to, but I put so much effort into these jobs. I start to lose my my purpose of where I am now um, and where I should be standing and how much effort I should be putting. For example, it'd be hard on my grades. Like I would have to do all-nighters and go to work. I'm so exhausted. I always have to say no to my friends, to hanging out, which granted, if you're a college student, that does make sense, especially if you're full time. But if you're not seeing them, I mean, I could only see them maybe once a month or one, once in one and a half months. It was really hard. On top of that, I was also in my own studio. I had an apartment. It was a complete mess. I had no time to clean because I was so tired after work. And I had a dog too. It was just like so exhausting. Every time I would come home, I would take off the work clothes, change into my home clothes, make food and everything. Dishes would be piling up, laundry would be piling up, especially if you don't have a laundry complex. Just, it was just a lot. I saw myself gaining weight. I saw myself insecure of who I am as a person for kind of forgetting of my passions and not really pursuing any of my hobbies. Not talking to my family as much. Maybe once a week I would talk to them or see them. Maybe once in two weeks actually. From working so much and putting so much energy into this job for money, which I could have been making more if I did graduate, it didn't make sense to me anymore. And I, I wanted to leave. Like I was exhausted. I was burnt out. I was not happy. I, yeah, I would buy materialistic stuff, but how far of happiness does that road take you? Take a break from that. Then I did have another 9 to 5 job during the pandemic. I had it for about 4 or 5 months now. It was so great in the beginning because when you're not doing much and just going to school, do you get a job? Or something new you're just so happy about it i was ecstatic about it it's a good experience until i found out that the rate that i was supposed to get granted i was getting paid less than my previous jobs because i had a promised salary that my boss told me delaying and delaying it that was the little rule of thumb for me was okay you broke my trust and I don't feel like I should continue this 9 to 5 job because of everything I just said, it's hard to do full-time 9 to 5 job and go to school full-time or part-time and balance out everything else of your happiness, your health, your family, your friends, your pets, you know, things like that. It's hard. I, I started to see the, the cost of effect of everything and I just, one day I was just like, okay, I felt that it wasn't worth it. I was 40 minutes away from my house. I felt like it wasn't worth my energy and my time that I'm putting in versus everything else I'm putting aside and delay. And that made me not happy. So these stocks did occur my third month that I was working there. I started searching for other jobs and I knew this time I just wanted a part-time job. The mistake was I didn't take it part time in the beginning. That was my learning curve and it's okay because everybody's learning and now I know that I shouldn't be focused so much on money because it will 
make me slack on the other things that, that I need to focus on. I quit my 9 to 5 job, I gave them my two weeks, I got a different 9 to 5 job, but this time it's only part time. I only go three times a week. Um, they're very flexible. I don't even have to work eight hours if I don't want to. In a day, I can do less and it can be online. So I feel like it's one win for me because then I can focus on my school. Because this time I'm totally going full time. I just want to finish. And you guys out there who are accountants and financing major, college students that transfer so many times, like, I totally understand you. I totally stand with you because I've changed my major twice and it was really hard. It's a it's a hard feeling when you don't know what you want to do and you're going towards your mid-20s, you know? So I totally stand with you. Even if you're in your early 20s, like it was still hard for me too in my early 20s. Not knowing exactly what I wanted to do, not knowing what is my true path in life, what is my purpose of the world, what should I do? You know, especially having parents that pressure you into choosing a lucrative career it's just it's a lot of pressure and i totally understand and hey if you're asian i even understand you more because my asian family they're just yeah let's just say it's a lot of pressure <laughs> i'm sure other people too in different nationalities like any parents you know they, they give you a lot of pressure but especially my parents i feel you um so that was my little journey on that. Um, I'm starting my job next week. I took a week break to go back into YouTubing, creating more videos. I know I go back and forth with this. Uh, you gotta just like take it a day at a time. Just watch the video on um, Cozy, K-O-Z-E. She was just talking about her video on change and how making such a drastic change works only for a short amount of time. But if you make a change in your daily life, in your habits and everything, it really helps throughout keep that habit and change in long-term view than a short-term of scenario. So that's what I'm trying to do. And this is my video. Hope you guys check out my other video. I'm basically wearing the same outfit. I'm kind of going through what's been going on, what type of content that I want to create now, or videos. I don't really like seeing content. I'm not like big or anything at all even but you know it's my hobby to create videos and express and show my experience from what I've learned as a 24 year old Korean girl in America and I hope that I can help you guys and wherever you are and just to spread like positivity advice and even learn from you guys because we're all still young, no matter what age you are, and we're still learning and growing, and this is, this is it, especially during these hard times. This is the time to reflect. I feel like 2020 is all about reflecting, and um, I hope you guys have a great weekend.